Number 19. Write the balanced chemical equation for the combustion of benzene, which is C6H6 liquid, to give carbon dioxide and water vapor. And then it says, would you expect the delta S to be a positive or a negative in this process? Okay. So let's first write out that balanced chemical equation. Now they're talking about combustion. They give us the hydrocarbon, right? The hydrocarbon in this case is C6H6. And they told us that that was a liquid. Now, remember, with combustion, you always have to be in the presence of oxygen, right? O2 gas. So I'm just going to add that over here, plus O2. And that's a gas. And that will give us the two products, carbon dioxide and water vapor. Carbon dioxide is CO2. And carbon dioxide is always a gas at room temp. Plus water, H2O. And they did tell me that it was a vapor. Keep in mind that vapor is the way of just saying a gas. So we have H2O gas. Let's just maybe make this in the center. And now, what's a chemical equation without it being balanced? So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to balance this out. So I have six carbon here. I only have one. So I'm just going to put a six in front of the CO2. I have six H's. I only have two H's here. So in order to get that six, I could put a three here. Three times two is six. Now let's just work with the oxygen. I have a total of six times two is 12 oxygen plus three oxygens here. So 12 plus three is a total of 15. Now, in this case, I can't really times anything by two to get an odd number, 15 is odd. So what you can do is you could just say that this would be 15 over two or 7.5, right? 15 over two times two, the twos will cancel and you will just be left with 15 on both sides. Now, you can keep this, um, you can keep this as a fraction, but if you don't want to keep it as a fraction, you could always multiply the whole um, equation by the denominator. So maybe I'll just do that quickly. So if I just times this whole thing by two, I have to just change all the coefficients times by two. So instead of one C6H6, I'll have two C6H6s. 15 over two times two is 15. Six times two, is 12, and then three times two, three times two is six. Okay, cool, that's our balanced equation. Now, we're ready to answer the next part. Would we expect that delta S to be positive or negative? Well, remember, a delta S is a change in entropy. And when we're talking about entropy, we're talking about the randomness randomness or chaos or disorder in a system. Now down here, just know that since the molecules of a solid are so, you know, compacted, there's really no chaos or disorder. So it has least entropy. But as you go to different states, your disorder is going to be much, much more, right? Gases are like all over the place. So gases have the most entropy. So if you're going from a solid to a liquid to a gas, your change in entropy would be a positive. And if you're going the other way, your delta S or your change in entropy would be a negative. Now, in this case, I don't care about what the actual compounds are. C6H6, O2, CO2, H2O, I don't care about any of that. The only thing I care about is the states. Now, in this case, I'm starting off with a liquid. So I have a liquid plus a gas, so liquid plus a gas, and this will get me to two gases, right? Gas and gas on both sides. So I have gas plus gas. Now in this case, we only really care about the highest entropy states. The most entropy states are the gas. That's right here, right? So we have a high entropy value here, but then we have two high entropy values here. 
hi and hi. So I'm basically starting off with gas and I'm ending with gas, but that's not enough information. How am I going to figure out if it's positive or negative? This is the only time in which you take your coefficients. So now we're going to actually count up how many gas molecules did we start with? How many gas molecules did we end with? Since this is a liquid, nobody cares because we're only comparing apples to apples, gas to gas, not bananas to apples, right? Banana being the liquid. So I have 15 gases here. So I have 15, starting off with 15 gas molecules here, and I have 12 over here, so 12, and 6. Okay, so let's just tally this all up. I'm starting with 15 gases, and I'm ending with 12 plus 6 is 18. Okay, did I become more random or less random? I added... It looks like I added, what, 15, 16, 17, 18, three, three gas molecules to the mix. And the more gas you got, the more random, the more chaos that system's going to be. So since you added three more gases at the end of the day, your delta S would be more chaotic than what it started with. That means that it would be a positive value. So it would be positive because... You have more gas in product than in the reactant. But if it was vice versa, if you took away gases and you had less in the products, then it would be negative. So delta S is positive because you have more, whoop, we have more gas in products. And that is the final answer. Maybe I could just quickly shade in, well, maybe an energizing yellow, a sunny yellow. We love to color here on this channel. <laughs> anyway, there you go. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for that. Thank you so much for your support, your kind comments. You guys have rocked throughout this whole process. Um, and let's just keep going. Let's keep learning. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.